was your age, they told me. Baby girl, it's a dirty world out there. So I learned to disinfect, to sanitize and protect, to buy food that's wrapped in plastic. Now I'm stressed out and stretched out like an elastic band with antibacterial hands and five-year plans, lending my dreams to morally bankrupt banks and borrowing ideas from thoughtless think tanks and fretting about pollution. But now I realize that the problem is the solution. Humanity is not out to conquer nature. We are nature, and nature is wild. It's volcanoes and glaciers and the first breath of a newborn child. So I set out to penetrate this planet state, to find out what reverberates, to speak the truth, to speak to youth, to put on some gardening gloves and boots and give nourishment to roots, to fertilize the tender shoots that grow and grow from all the seeds you sow. And if you don't know, now you know. And if you don't know, well then, there's room to grow, because I've seen a bunch of hellions with mouths the size of pelicans learn to quit their yelling and listen to the silence that's vibrating with millions of microbial operatives and sublime symbiosis guaranteed to do away with postmodern neurosis. This quiet eloquence embellishes a truth that's huge and relevant. It's grabbing the white elephant and composting its poop and hell, maybe even selling it. The power is in you. In fact, it's in your poo. This is some heavy doo-doo voodoo. Think about it when you're on the loo. Imagine every number two becoming a permaculture dream come true. Like Jack's magic beans, you'll be climbing to new heights, permablitzing new sites, thinking about a healthy planet as a human right, and maybe even sleeping a little bit better at night. Let the earthworms be a part of your community. Speak up in Canberra and make them see that the harm that's been done is done. And we have all the time under the sun to repair, not to spare. So tie back your hair and sit and stare. Observe and interact. If you treat her with respect, Mama Earth's got your back. Grow some veggies, use the edges, put the power back into the hands of the many and these hands will yield plenty. And don't worry if you're nowhere near 20 because this is the future of living education. Without further hesitation, complications, limitations, or genetic modifications, start thinking long-term germination, not Band-Aid fixation, because it's not about us. It's about the seventh generation.